All right, everybody, welcome back to the number one television program in the history of the entire universe. I am Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon, The Blackest Heart, and The Lonesome Crown, all three books published by Simon & Schuster's Saga Press. Today, I am going to be showing you my entire Michelle West fantasy book collection. And all of these books that I've got here, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. All 16 of them belong to the same series. So we're going to go through them in chronological order, not necessarily in the order that they were published, but in chronological order of uh, how the series plays out from beginning to end and um, show you the covers, the titles, talk a little bit about what the series is kind of about, and um, just, you know, I think I've reviewed the first book in the series on the channel, and that was Hunter's Oath, and this is the first book in the series. Um, it's part of a duology that's kind of a prequel to the main story. Actually, there's several prequels to the main story, and some sequels to the main story, but we will explain all that. So, these first two books are sort of a prequel to the main story, like a prequel to the prequel to the main story. And it is Hunter's Oath, which I reviewed on the channel. So if you want to watch my detailed review of this book, just type in my last name and then Hunter's Oath. Type both of those things directly into your YouTube search bar and that review will magically appear on your computer screen. I swear to God that it will. Anyway, Hunter's Oath. This is book one. These books, um, I mean, this is a vast, huge, epic fantasy series that Michelle West has created. One of, uh, just a great writer. The world building is spot on and exquisite and magnificently large. And with each book, you just get more and more details of what this world is about. But it's pretty much a medieval fantasy world. Um... Starts out with kind of a, a little bit of a Robin Hood flair with these uh, <clears throat> with these guys, these uh, kind of guys running through the woods, these hunters, these thieves, these uh, guys, and they're, they're hunting dogs and stuff. And then, um, you know, it's very magical, very sword and sorcery heavy, these first two books. And then the next book in the duology is Hunter's Death. And uh, really cool. I'll just read the back of the first one so you kind of get an idea. When the covenant was made with the hunter god, all who dwelt in Bredanor swore to abide by it. The hunter lords and the hunting dogs to which their minds were specially attuned would seek out game in the god's wood and provide food for their people. And the hunter god would ensure that the hunters, the land, and the people prospered. But in payment, once a year, the sacred hunt must be called the god's own hunt in which the prey became one of the lords or his hunt brother this was the hunter's oath sworn to by each lord and hunt brother the companion chosen from the common folk to remind each lord of his own ties to humanity it was the oath pledged in the blood by gillian of elseth and the orphan boy stephen and the fulfillment of that oath would lead them to a kind of destiny so yeah you got these hunts based around the gods the gods want to sacrifice somebody has to um you know there's dark lords there's um you know, hunting, bows and arrows, swords and sorcery, all sorts of cool stuff in this first duology. A great, great entry into the series. We'll put those right here. And then we get this other trilogy, which serves as a prequel to our main story. So this other trilogy serves as somewhat of a prequel to the main story. And um, we've got House Name with great, and by the way, the covers here were done by the great artist Jody Lee. And Jody Lee has done all but one of the covers, I believe. I think there's one of the covers that she did not do, but she's done all of them. But anyway, I love the cover design of all these. But this trilogy is the House Trilogy and um, the House War. And this is about sort of these orphan kind of characters, these thieves. I will just read the back of book number one for you. The House War is the story of the battle for control of the most powerful of the ruling houses in the Asselian Empire, House Terrafin. But it is also the tale of Jewel Markness, 
Formerly an orphan in the slums of the capital of Avaralan, now she and her den of street children have been given shelter and house Terrafin. The price for them to remain there is that Jewel must prove her value to the house. Jewel has been assigned the task of finding entryways into the ancient undercity that lies beneath the streets of the Empire's capital. But even with aid of most uh, powerful uh, first circle of mages of the Order of the Knowledge, Jewel's search seems hopeless. Anyway, it's all about this orphan girl, Jewel, and sort of her, um, it's very reminiscent of Lies of Locke Namora, Lies of Locke Lamora, this trilogy. And this, again, is a kind of a prequel trilogy to the main story, because uh, a lot of the characters from both of these, this duology and this trilogy, carry on into our main story here. But here we have House War, great illustration by Jody Lee. We have... Um, City of Night, another great colorful illustration by Jody Lee. And we have The Hidden City, a super dope illustration. I really quite like this one. This was cool. And um, that is that trilogy right there. We shall put those here. And now let's move to the main kind. This is sort of the main series here um, following. So we've got these two prequels, and now we jump into the main series. And this was the first book ever published in the series. Well, maybe not. I think Hunter's Oath might have been. I think Hunter's Oath, the first, anyway, this was one of the relatively first ones. Um, this one is The Broken Crown. This is uh, book number one in the main series, which follows for the rest of the books. And again, another great Jody Lee painting. Um, this is the Sun Sword, book number one. Torleone, the heart of the Dominion of Anagar, where the games of state are about to become a matter of life or death, and where those who seek to seize the crown will be forced to league with treacherous cunning ally. Torleone, ancestral seat of power, where Sarah Doria Maria di Marazzano, the most sought after beauty in the land, a woman betrayed by all she holds dear, may strike the first blow to change the future of dominion and the empire alike. Avaralan Amaralas, that most ancient of civilized city cities, the home of the Aselian Empire Imperial Court, has long been a center of magics both dark and bright, and though the empire won its last war with the Dominion and survived a devastating magic-fueled battle with a far deadlier foe. Both those victories were not without their cost, but now the realm is on the brink of a far greater confrontation, faced with an unholy alliance that could spell... I mean, we didn't get into the um, nitty-gritty of who the characters were or anything like that, but I'm, going to, I'm looking forward to rereading all of these and reviewing them on the channel. But this one, in book number one of The Sun Sword, The Broken Crown... Book number two of the Sun Sword, another great, great um, illustration by Jody Lee. And these are kind of Game of Thrones ish, kind of dark um, sword and sorcery tales that I really enjoy. Um, and written just with some great prose, just a really good writer is Michelle West. The Uncrowned King, book number two in the Sun Sword. Another great Jody Lee painting, The Shiny Court, book number, The Shining Court, book number three. I like that. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of pageantry and um, stuff in these books also, illustrated by this uh, scene of the uh, people going to the masked uh, charade or whatever the hell it is they're going to. Um, uh, <clears throat> and then we've got Sea of Sorrows. Now, this was the one book that does not have a Jody Lee cover art. This is a Paul Yule or Stephen Yule painting. I can't remember which. Let me see if it's listed here. Get this right. Paul Yule um, does a lot of... Uh, he's a, one of the more famous uh, sci-fi fantasy illustrators from the 1990s. And I'll be... And, and most of these books did come out in the 90s. I probably should have mentioned that. And that one was book number four. Book number five... The Riven Shield, one of my favorite books in the series. Um, great Jody Lee painting again. And then book number six in the series, The Sun Sword. And now we kind of have six more or five more books in the series, but the series is no longer called um, the uh, 
Sun Sword series. They, it, it's now called. Um, we go back into more of like sort of the house war, but it's, it's it is a, conti a direct continuation of what's going on here, and it's skirmish. I like the little cat at the bottom, the little kitty. It's a good. She's a good girl, that kitty. Anyway, skirmish is um, follows up this one. So we've got. Uh, let's place all of these over here in their order. So we've got all the books in chronological order, so we can check them all out. Um, yeah, Skirmish, continuation of the series. Uh, Battle, another great Jody Lee painting. And um, Oracle, that one's cool too. A little more, what is that? It's not a unicorn. Unicorns don't have horns like that. Another great Jody Lee painting. I really like this one. This one's subtle and cool. This is uh, Firstborn. And then the last book in the series is just simply titled War. And that, my friends, is the entire 16 book series. All books set in the same fantasy realm. All of them tied together in chronological order. It's just an absolutely magnificent um, set of books. And one of my favorite series of all time. And that is my Michelle West book collection.